All right, cool. Um, so yeah, telemetry in Rust, it's kind of um, what I've been working on recently on my Sphere platform that some of you might know so from the talk last year. Um, so briefly, I'm at MasterCard uh, working on the browser architecture software engineering. And the outline of my talk will be that, um, yeah, what telemetry is, uh, Rust and telemetry. And if we talk about a little bit about open telemetry, which is the newest standard uh, for cloud native uh, application monitoring, and then some comparisons. So tracing versus op open telemetry Rust and metrics versus open telemetry Rust. Um, so telemetry briefly, it's analysis of metrics, logs, traces, everything that you can collect from the application, you ship it somewhere. And then you have those beautiful dashboards uh, that uh, you try to tell the behavior of the application from. Um, super important in distributed applications. And it's a growing field with lots of different examples, tools like Dynatrace, Jaeger, Zipkin, Datadog, Prometheus, they all do something. And uh, Jaeger is mostly for tracing, the Prometheus is uh, uh, for metrics collection. So you have two different tools, two different protocols. AWS and Azure, they have their own solutions. Um, Open Telemetry is, um, is an incubation project for the Cloud Native uh, 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 Foundation. It kind of, it's kind of trying to unify all of them into one sensible standard that uh, will give you everything. Um, so it also, there's a set of SDKs in Java, Go, Python, Rust that should behave exactly the same. And on top of that, you have uh, open telemetry agents and collectors that allow you to gather metrics, ship them somewhere else, uh, do some transformations on them. So it's uh, full support for the Cloud's uh, native foundation and it's growing, I would say. The top level architecture looks kind of like this. So you have your client application that might have some sort of OTLP SDK built in and uh, which you use APIs to gather metrics, uh, uh, <clears throat> do some tracing, and that's being sent to OTP agents. Now, this is very flexible that the, the agent could be deployed on the same uh, pod or could be a side process or sidecar, my favorite one. And you configure the agent then to ship the metrics to either OTLP corrector uh, via ODLP protocol, or you could ship them directly to either Prometheus or Jaeger. Uh, the reason for having a collector here is that uh, sometimes you might want to aggregate metrics from different agents uh, into a bigger, fatter pipe. And this kind of setup gives you quite a lot of flexibility in how you build your application. So in terms of Rust and tracing, <clears throat> so um, uh, there is, kind of two different uh, approaches to it, two different groups. And um, so tracing and metrics.rs and open telemetry Rust. Um, if you compare them side by side, so tracing is a part of the Tokyo group, which is a, well, one of the leading groups at the moment because they are behind Hyper and, Tokyo and, and Tonic and a few other nice libraries for uh, building applications. Tracing only does tracing, so you can collect spans. It's an instrumentation library, but it also integrates very well with logging. So um, instead of using your standard logger, you can use a tracing logger. Um, but tracing is just a, an add-on on top of an open telemetry Rust. And in, when you want to really export the tracers, you have to use the open telemetry. Now, tracing is deeply built into the Tokyo uh, they have very good documentation. Uh, it also integrates very well with Actix. So if somebody's using that type of uh, web servers, uh, tracing is probably the to uh, kind of a abstraction layer above open telemetry. Where open telemetry Rust is slightly lower level, it's part of the tele open telemetry project. So it follows the standards on how to take the metrics or traces and stuff like that. Um, it, gives you the option to do the instrumentation of your code, uh, but it's not as neatly integrated into, let's say, uh, asynchronous programming as tracing. And it gives you the ability to export metrics into very different uh, standards. So Jaeger, Prometheus, uh, OTLP, or AWS. Um, so then metrics, 
Again, it's metrics.rs, which is very similar to tracing, and the open telemetric. These will be the two main libraries that I was working with uh, at the moment. Now, where tracing is much more mature, metrics is not really. It's still part of the Tokyo group. And it's very similar to tracing.rs. It has a very neat interface where you can use uh, macros to, to increase counters, gauges, and histograms. Uh, it only does metrics. Um, and it only has two exporters, so TCP or Prometheus. And this is a main difference between metrics and tracing, so that, that tracing is using open telemetry, uh, metrics doesn't. And there is no work at the moment to, to actually bring it in. <clears throat> um, again, open telemetry, yeah, part of the project. It does both metrics and tracing at the same time. And the boilerplate is hidden behind the globals. So I'm. Um, that's kind of the comparison. Um, I've been using, for tracing, I've been using tracing.rs, and for metrics, I've been using open telemetry, Rust. And um, I do have, if I change my screen, so this is logging running on for my application in Sphere, and this is the Jaeger. So these are the, that we, could somebody confirm that you can see the Jaeger screen? Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh... yeah cool. So if I go find traces, it, so uh, the, for the guys who have weren't here last year, so, so my platform is running a distributed system. There's uh, quite a few services connected by a Kafka, that's a few other. So uh, this kind of allows me to show how the messages are flowing through the system. So let's say I have this call here. It's uh, a client makes a gRPC call, and this is put on the NATS topic. Um, th these are the, the how long the, the it takes to, to, for a method to execute. Uh, then there's a different service. So we have some sort of networking call over here. Uh, so we take the message off the topic and then we send it uh, on its merry way. And we see this is kind of, uh, we, it allows us to trace how long it took, um, what sort of additional information we have. And there should be some logs as well. Uh, probably, oh yeah, there you go. And if I increase the, if I would increase the verbosity, yeah. <clears throat> some sort of log so you can easily monitor your system and try to, well, what are you figuring out how the calls are moving from one system to another system? So this is a um, matrix uh, tracing. So that's using the Jaeger part. So then this is the Prometheus. So again, you type in, so as you see here, there's lots of pop sub metrics that my server's uh, system is uh, exporting. So let's say uh, incoming request. I can graph those. Uh, and so the system was running for a while now. So we can see that uh, we have four different uh, services uh, and then they have different baits and different processing. So that allows me to monitor you know like okay how many calls per second am i handling and with prometheus you can set alerts and stuff like that the main thing though is that if i go to my code sorry it is emacs this is the code to to initialize the tracer let's say from here and um, so i can say how i want to sample where do i connect how do i send the logs etc etc and then i can uh, instrument my Oh, let's say if I go to front end, as you can see, I'm kind of, this is uh, using hyper um, uh, uh, server, so, so well-documented. I can instrument my call, main call with, uh, this is the annotation that uh, I'm, I'm taking from tracing. And then every other info uh, or debug message will be recorded with an appropriate span, which then I can present in a uh, Jaeger. If I go to metrics, so here, example of a metric, it's a HTTP incoming counter request, counter, yeah, just basically just increase as uh, counters and stuff like that. And then we go jumping back to the utils, there's a tracing utils. Um, that allows me to, again, configure point to the endpoint and then ship it off. Um, so that's kind of what, um, what Rust and tracing and metrics uh, look like at the moment. I would expect this, there'll be quite a lot of changes around those. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping that metrics and the um, open telemetry Rust will merge to some extent. Because